a kind oh. of approach they would do against Vichy as well, because pick. maybe they think that they will do something similar, like rely on this late game farmer, and yeah. by picking this Fury on, if you play it well, you can kind of pick apart the lanes, split push a bit. Um, yeah. So the Naga Siren, probably your black hero. Uh, we saw it yesterday, uh, especially in that game I was actually referencing, the last game last night against Not Today, and that was one of the staples. And I, I, I talked about it last night, but Black was trying to convince me that Naga's interesting, and he was saying that, you know, she doesn't have to be that boring farmer. Remaining. You can actually be kind of aggressive. And last night, man, as soon as she hit six, they utilized that ult Five every three minutes, remaining. and it yielded a kill. So yeah. expect Black to be moving around a little bit in that lane, and before he gets the Radiance, trying to make Reserve the most out time. of the Naga. Yeah, I think that's... Uh, Two different ways you can play it. I mean, th sometimes I do think it's better to just ignore fighting, honestly. Um, and I would say that it could sometimes be a mistake. Uh, and a lot of pro players say the same thing, like when you fight <coughs> too early with Naga, and if it doesn't pay off, mm -hmm. you get that late radiance, and you won't be able to apply this pressure. That if you have this early radiance, suddenly the supports will like almost die battling this illusion or whatever. Um, yeah. Well, she does have that high potential to turn around fights, though. Yeah, but exactly, yeah. she does, and that's so. also... VG really Gaming, risky, so. turn to pick. Yeah, it is. Yeah. But yeah. the sleep is amazing ability, and you can set up, like, sleep plus uh, ice path, for example. That combo alone can just wreck two heroes. Yeah, team. that was the beginning of their draft last time, and this could be a fourth pick Marana from Vici. That was similar to the setup they did before. Net ice path makes for pretty easy arrows. Uh, how did they lane in that game? Oh, I can't remember. Was it, it was the last game last remaining. night. I was pretty burned out. Naga, mid. Naga was mid. Um, roaming Marana or off Five Marana? seconds I don't know. She just kept shooting arrows. At Marana, it was an FY Marana roaming around. Yeah. It might have been Ice 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 on Shakira. I Reserve think it will be an offlane Shakira okay. and an Ogre Marana support would be my guess. Because yesterday when we played them, it was uh, support Shakira. Oh. Okay. They're pretty versatile. Yeah. They, they do a lot of stuff. Black was also talking about how good Pugna is against Naga uh, late game. But the, the drain just to kill the yeah. illusions. He's like, once you get the ags, it's so easy to shut her down with the yeah, split push. For sure. I mean, I mean, but you can't be in multiple places at once, though, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I feel. But he is very good, um, especially if you are able to put some pressure on the Naga team. Like if it's a kind of even game, but you you have you're still having a little bit of an upper hand, and you can push with Pugna. That's where I really feel that it's a good counter where you can just yeah. relax every time you summon illusions. You pick them off one by one, and then. You slowly yeah. siege. Um, but this Dazzle also, I have to point out, mm -hmm. Secret is like rating this hero. Number one. The they are. It's number one. <laughs> All about the Dazzle. Yeah, the dazzle are well, they the only team playing him right now? I don't think I've seen anyone else pick Dazzle. Play him every game. Um, yeah, they're, <laughs> yeah, they're the only team that plays him every game. But I, I think that uh, quite a few Five teams draft Dazzle. Remaining. C9 plays Dazzle uh, a lot of times with TB, for example. Dire okay, no Marana. They get the AA instead. Then it's going to be a Jakiro off lane for sure, I guess. Yeah. Still some pretty scary team fight though. Good setup, and now you've got old Frost Fingers there to add some extra damage. Yeah, and that's where you're gonna see if, uh, since, as you mentioned before, that Bichi Gaming is a really, really good team when it comes to executing. Like you can see that they have been practicing a while. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, if they can remaining. make this work, like about sleep setup to ice path, AA blast. Five seconds mm -hmm. remaining. They have good team fight for sure. Yeah, a lot of it's on ET, I think, because he's pretty much the only one who counter initiate. <laughs> yeah. The Naga. No, there's a Puck VG as well. Gaming's I think turn to ban. Puck is such a good hero this patch, especially with the eels. I think that it's just so difficult to deal with that hero. Like you could see a Dream League a lot that uh, a lot of teams approach Puck in a way that okay, you will just he's a late Ten game second. hero because Ten once you get blink eels, you will just run around, keep split pushing, get more items, and it can Five never seconds stop remaining. you pretty much because it's so difficult. Yeah, I think I heard Cloud9 talking about Puck being strong now because you also have the option of the Ags to kind of take you into the late Reserve game when time. DKBs would normally shut yeah, you down. Yeah, exactly. Now you have a good Dire tool. Team and then ban. For, yeah, and C9, they like drafting this uh, Puck bench. And yeah. that's exactly it. You can go for super late game, get Ags and Puck, swap <laughs> out of the... Coil and five second BKB stun, yeah. Yeah, sure. VG and Gaming once you're 16 with an ice, was like a 4.5 second stun when you break the tether? Uh, uh, for yeah, coil? It's 4 to 5. I think, so I think it's like, yeah, 4.5. It's, ridi it's I a saw ridiculous. It happen once, I was like, what happened to that guy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it, that's what I mean. It's like o almost five seconds, so. Yeah. And wow, look at that respect. The Riki ban. Looks like Secret has done their homework. That was the key hero to round off the Vici draft. I forgot about that. It was uh, the safe lane farming. No, it was the Ice 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 Riki, and it was a safe lane Shakira in the game last night against Offlane. Offlane, off off Ice 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 Riki. Yeah. 
And it went really Five well. He got a uh, fair bit of farm, and then they were just setting up smoke screen kills Dyer all over the place with Naga. Yeah. But here's the uh, Ice 3 Timber Saw. So is that a safe lane, Shakiro, I would assume? I think so. Maybe aggro try here. Oh, yeah. Shakiro, Ogre, Ancient Apparition is a pretty scary try lane. Or are they going to, like, duel in? It always depends yeah, on what. Safe lane? They could. Does Beachy aggro try often? Not that often. Not that often. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. That's why I'm thinking that they might do something like a... What is Kiro going to play? An OAM. Five There's no seconds remaining. Deusa. Could this be a gyro game? No. Mm -hmm. Reserve time. Could be a gyro game. I do like the Dazzle Elder Titan together. The Weave with Natural Order is disgusting, disgusting. in team fights. I don't think Slark's that good here. Yeah, that's think why I'm thinking gyro. Slark just get some flat cannon good. and all that minus armor. Yeah, but... There's not that it's many always kind of difficult Ten to play seconds one remaining. core gyro, I think. Mm. Oh. Didn't see that one coming. I think that was... Uh, that was quite a good pickup, honestly. So how does Drow fit in here? What's her... Why is she so good? No, but I mean, just by drafting the Drow here, I think that the lanes are gonna go a lot better. I think that... Like a Puck mid with Drow aura. If they put Puck mid, maybe they will switch around a bit, I'm not sure. Um, sleep is good. I'm not sure, I was a bit surprised by this Drow, but I mean... I haven't seen a draw lineup like this before. I have not either. I think uh, it's pretty good for Timber though. Like you can yeah, kind of leave yeah, but exactly, like, exactly. And I feel that their lanes are actually gonna be quite strong. Like I think that they could possibly harass. Oh, it's a mid THD actually. Ten seconds oh. remaining. Okay. Okay, this is a bit different. I like. Well, this. we don't know actually. They, Five they might seconds set remaining. Mid, uh, yeah. Obviously. They could, but um, if they if they put uh, okay here. Yeah. They really need a BKB hero, though. I think, I mean, the sleep initiate, like, Drow can't do anything. Yeah, but exactly, and what I feel with Drow, which is a problem, is that... Prepare for battle. I don't really like her as a one core, because you don't want to be in the fight. You know, I, we yeah. played, uh, and for example, we went to Dream League, and what we were successful was with was these Drow strats, uh, because we had been playing them a while. I had been failing so much with Drow after playing it. Like, C9 was use, abusing it a lot. We were trying it over again, we couldn't really make it work so much, and after a while I just realized, like, you're not supposed to do so much with Drow. You can't go in, you need the aura to be there, if they jump you, you lost. <laughs> so, like, playing a one-core Drow is always scary, but having Drow on a team just turns this puck into a really, really uh, strong hero as well. I guess Nature's Prophet's gonna have to get a lot of farm too. Yeah, he, he could be do doing a lot of damage. To yeah, battle. as well. Um, Okay. Actually, see, this is gonna be a standard tri lane safe lane. Uh, uh, looks like it. Mid puck off lane Furion. Yeah. Nothing too crazy from Secret. Nothing too crazy from either side. No. Yeah. Seems like Witch is doing the same thing safe lane tri lane. We have black mid. Super safe. Uh, okay. But I mean, that, that's also the thing with Jakiro. Like, even a safe lane Jakiro is so annoying to deal with when they just start the battle sieging begins. your tower. You lose your tier 1 off lane, sure it's not the biggest deal, but if you don't vote it, you will pretty much lose that tower. Do you think Chikiro's a little too strong right now? In need of a little little tweaking? I think he's number 2 after Brew. I like, think you still think Brew is number 1 Brew's most number one? most I, Timba? I think so, personally. Yeah. No, I, I, I kinda agree, I don't really know, but I feel that the thing with Brew is that I feel that you could counter pick him more often than people do. And That's that true. when they, when he gets first picked, People don't really counter pick. Like you don't really see so much. You know when Drew was really, really uh, used a lot, like a TI and stuff. People will grab this like Doom Grizzle uh, plus one more hero to deal with these team fights because Grizzle won't get so fucked that he would rush a PKB and he can suddenly like just punch these um, pandas to death. But, yeah. Yeah. But back to I think Ogre and Jakiro both a bit too strong, honestly. ET as well. Yeah. I mean, what, what do you think would level out Jakiro? Is, is putting a mana cost on Liquid Fire, would that make a difference? Is it just the, the Yule's change that's made him so strong? I mean, that certainly helped. All of the above. All, all of the above? Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, I agree. It's just a little bit of everything. Yeah, yeah. I think, sure, Liquid Fire, I mean, all abilities in a game that doesn't cost mana uh, yeah. are a bit strong. I don't think it needs the lower attack speed either. It'd still be a good ability if it didn't do that. Yeah, and I guess it's the combination of all, like, he has such good synergy. Well, here we go. Potential first blood go. 
And there's your chilling touch. Simba, are they going to dive it? No, they'll let him walk away. Liquid fire won't tick him down. This is also one of the cases where I feel... Warriors of the wood! Only because a lot of pl players like Ignite level 1. Oh, yeah. But I don't feel that it's always the best choice. I don't know. Yeah. It's a lot of damage. If he has boots, maybe it's... Maybe stuns better. Yeah. They could have probably easy, easily towered over him with the, with the fire blast. I think mid, mid is a uh, fine lane for both tiers. I think Mag is quite okay with playing a puck, and I think that S4 will just stay there and farm again an early blink, so. Break even lane, I think. Yeah. The Timber is not so getting much, the Fury is not getting much, right? So obviously with the Naga, you don't usually want to go late game. What, what do you think the general game plan for Secret is here? Is there a sort of a timing window when they'll really hit their stride and want to start? The thing is, it, I don't really feel that Secret is ever, and that's also what makes them a very strong team. I don't really feel like they play oh. um, um, under pressure in almost any of their games. Like, yeah, they don't right. feel like they have to have a timing. Like, for example, they like drafting this ET. They like drafting this Dazzle. So they have these two heroes. Late game wise, you like no matter how far it goes, you're gonna have a super strong team fight by just having the spirit and the weave. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I guess the timing would be I, I think that they will just rotate the Fury on top, take the safe lane tower, um, start taking towers, and just try to get the early lead. Um, for Vici, I guess they will just do the standard wait for a. Um, well, actually, since you pointed out they played a bit more aggressive yesterday, I guess they want to stand the Naga play. I, I think they'll be a bit more aggressive, but when Black hits 6, that'll be kind of the flip of the switch usually. Maybe a little bit after, but that's when the supports will start to smoke, maybe rotate, and yeah. look to set something up on S4. Yeah, but if S4 has like an early blink, it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna be so difficult for them. Yeah, it's gonna be anything. so difficult, exactly. They don't have the best heroes to deal with this puck, I think. Um, later, if they get a Eels. Yeah. They have but some lockdown. I don't know if they have the damage to kill him fast enough. Even if they set it up with a Song of the Siren into Ice Path, I'm not sure they can burst him down before he can get away. And they still have Grave. Yeah, yeah. that's it. A couple fail saves. For sure. But I have to point out, I really like seeing Ice on Timber. I think that it's one of the Oh, uh, there it goes. Yeah. <laughs> the haste room. It was the haste room. That's so bizarre, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> What are the chances? Yeah, yeah I think his timber is ridiculous. His timber? Yeah, I yeah, think so too. And especially insane. like when he gets a good game yeah. and he pressures so much, like he's never going back from that lane. He's gonna keep annoying you, annoying you, annoying you. So you have to rotate someone, but if you only rotate one or two, you won't kill him. Um, so I think it's one of his better heroes for sure. Yeah. He's one of the few players that still plays timber pretty regularly yeah. as well. He's really falling out of favor. Fun hero to watch. Yeah, I agree. And the, he can be a beast when he gets like a sh late game Shiva's axe. Radiant's axe middle that tower is, is under attack. Yeah. Link, obviously, but he's just so so strong. Yeah, the axe upgrade is. And really I'm good. just a bit scared for this draw. Um, because yeah, I don't know. Anyone with a big gap closer is good against the the draw. Yeah, I mean, if Timber is gonna have a good game, draw is gonna have a tough game, pretty much. They have to be able to play offensively, though. If I think if uh, Secret are forced in a defensive position where she can't get like offensive gusts and it's always defensive, yeah, yeah, like she has to be able to like initiate on Naga, yeah, or initiate yeah. on Timber, or something. for sure, for sure. Um, and that comes with like if they're able to pressure towers themselves and rotate well with this Fury, and I think is, I think this Fury is gonna have quite an important part to play in this game, yeah, uh, for rotations and everything. Oh, Who do you think is better in this game? I would say. Just because Drow, like, yeah. too many gap clubs, yeah. too many things to yeah. do with BKB2. Oh, as far as bottom, and he has this haze. Uh oh, they'll That's set up on the first both haze. Then rear. What level is that for? Does he have a coil? Yeah, he sure does. Ooh, Ice tap. time, now super. There's the silence. Big Daddy, he'll go down first. And yeah, extra first blood goes to the uh, the radiant. Nature's Prophet will end up getting the counter kill on the hero. Middle tower is under so it's a one point to get things started. S4 will live with the haste rune. Uh, I kind of feel that he could have just coiled the ogre immediately. Yeah, maybe. yeah, but he was a bit greedy. I think yeah. he wants both. I mean, yeah. it, it's understandable. Um, uh -oh. But I think that she has sleep. She does have sleep. No net. But there's your riptide. There's your resident sleeper. 
And who's on the way? Is that the ancient apparition? Oh, that's a kill. Boy, here. It nope, is definitely no not. That's like huge. <laughs> that's a huge, huge uh, engage from which I feel they, they clearly got the better out of that. They failed kind of. Uh, the gang kind of failed. Um, and that was just a. It was very. Like, you can see that Vichy knows what they're doing. They just turn, the Q does a liquid fire, dual breath to slow down the attack speed and everything, and the Secrets have a hard time to finish off the kills, and then they even get this puck. Uh, yeah, they also like stay and fight in the coil and just get as much damage as yeah, possible. Yeah, exactly. And I think <laughs> so. that shows that they know what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, a pretty slow early game, but uh, I guess fairly standard. Black looking for his uh, kill of boots and just bottle crone. It's a set of wards. And the quest for the Radiance begins. The problem with Drow is that I never like found a good item there for her. Like sometimes you need blink, sometimes you need HOD to stack, uh, you need BKB a lot of the time, uh, you want Manta, you want Butterfly, you want all these items and then yeah. it's just like which one do I get? If you get the wrong one you just you just <laughs> feed. Well, what do you think about the rest of the Ray fans? Uh oh, Ice Ice Ice, he's in some trouble, he'll actually go down! As Simba Radiant joins the party, now they'll transition fortified. this into a push. And this Radiant's tier one tower, tower in a lot of trouble. Is under attack. That's just those cross arrows, they just slow so much and once he has that level 6 on draw as well, he has a lot of extra damage if he stays out of range, so... Um, Could this even be a Mask of Madness? I think it's a Mask of Madness, I think it's a Mask of Madness, it's like almost, like almost the best of Radiant's draw, top tower has fallen. And I think it's a lot safer if you have the Dazzle too. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But I mean, you don't really have to pop the mom in a push, for example. <laughs> sure. Um, but here we see, see the secret of the right thing. Because they're able to pressure up and get some damage off of this now if they can get this. But, Vichy not gonna let it go without a fight, and they will make a hold. Kuro gets softened up a little bit, and their tower will be not too much worse for wear. Yeah. Um, but as you mentioned before, Merlini, I think that's. I think Blink is kind of neat. Yeah. Like, I think it's super crucial. It's, it, you have to play it as like a never get touched hero, which is weird as a yeah, carry. Yeah, it's very weird. Carry you're just like, okay, whatever, I'll get items to compensate for my weak ass stats and yeah. my abilities. What do you think whatever. about the Wraith bands? I mean, I've seen Envy do like as many as four Wraith yeah, bands. Yeah, I, I do actually like, copy that myself <laughs> yeah. for the early game. I Maybe. think it makes the early game a lot better. Yeah, uh, for all the lanes. The value for selling them back, I feel like that's something that's not talked about a lot. Right. Like the, yeah. Just getting an item and selling it back. That's really, really good, yeah. and, and you don't really lose that much. And actually, that's something I've uh, thought a bit about. Like, I think it's a bit underrated getting like double bracer early yeah. game. It's like 400 HP, 450 HP or something, and it's it a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. And imagine if people would start doing these strats where you would actually like just buy a jewel bracer on everyone to go fight. Nah. <laughs> 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 I mean, can we, can we just Epi... clip that out of the box? <laughs> 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 We've seen Epi do the double ring of protection, uh, Necrophos, that kind of stuff. That is that is something they came up with pretty yeah. much, the double the, the double ring of protection like that. It's the double ring of protection Jakiro, I think. It's so good So though. good. Oh, I, I tried it on Necro and it's unreal how tanky he is. Oh, yeah? Like the first like six levels, he's just... You can go blow for blow with pretty much anyone with all yeah. that armor. For sure. It's, it's very, very strong. Well, all tied up 2-2, two to two. kind of a static farm fest here. Both teams pretty happy to keep their safe on the safe. We'll see S4 bump into Ice Ice Ice, waiting rift, or there's your coil! And Ice 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 will go down as the Wrath of Nature flies through, and Secret pull into the lead. I think that was a bit overconfident yeah. of Ice. I think he maybe wasn't ready for the Fugue uh, ult as well, to finish him off. Yeah, because the Naga was kinda close, I guess. So if he wasn't able to kill him that fast with Fury Note, maybe he would have been able to roll it with sleep, but S4 was just in the right place. Yep, yeah, S4, how close is he to the blink? Looks like Naga's at 2300 and 1600 gold. Yeah, looks like a pretty good timing. I mean, he would have it right now if it wasn't for that one death. Yeah, yeah. But, but Naga has a very, very good game as well. This is going to be an early Radiance, I think. I think in the Not Today game, he picked it up around the 15 minute mark, and at that point he was 2 0 and 4. Okay. So he's been a lot less active, but still has one kill. Okay. Probably a pretty comparable time. Ah. So. Yeah. Um, but he doesn't, Black doesn't really go for like drums and stuff, right? Like no, Ortiz is kind of good. It tends to go. Well, he knows all about the black drums. Oh, yeah. He does not like drums. He likes to use the creeps. He used to buy it a lot on Naga, and he would just get it and then not fight, and then just sell it back with five charges. 
but he needed inventory space. And I think he just decided drums are not for him. Yeah. <laughs> just give it up. I actually, I'm not a big fan of drums either. Really? Uh, yeah. I also used to buy it a lot, but... Well, they used to be a lot better value now. Yeah. They've been nerfed so. over yeah, and over yeah. and over. I guess so, I guess so. But it's more like... Yeah. Let's say, like, nowadays people... Oh, the smoke. Oh, Gold set up, and Kuro in a lot of trouble here. They'll probably find another kill. Nowhere for him to go. Gets the silence on Super, but... <laughs> love to an acro fire. Right, Sai Sai, up in the top lane. Leave softening him up, and... Yep, Puck will see that kill. So one for one around Dyer's the map. Middle tower How often is under do you attack. see this? Oh, is that that <laughs> Not often. Yeah, the Drow just owned him. In like yeah, yeah, I, so I agree. Hard. Drow is so good <laughs> against Timber. That's why I was a bit surprised that they actually did lane as they did uh, with the Timber off lane. And I think the Secret is doing the right thing. Can, can they do the Anxious? Are they trying to kill them right now? No? They're just waiting just for Drow to come around. back? Yeah. Setting the trap. They, they ping they out whoever that is in the river. Oh, they put the ward behind the tier 2 or what? Yeah. It looks like it, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. That's though. what they did. Um... That's such a great ward to get out if you if you uh, the opponent doesn't see it. I think. Dyer's middle tower the is new under attack. Are just you like, really good. Yeah, really, really. Yeah, good. so terrible before. That other plateau <laughs> outside. <laughs> though, <laughs> yeah. <I know. laughs> Where should you put it? Yeah. But I hate this new spot. This one. You don't like it's it? It's so OP. It's so too good. OP. It's so good. And it's like it's so hard to anti ward sometimes. Mm. Yeah, you can't stand on Radiant's top of there. Bottom yeah. tower like, is I don't know why. Oh, you, you actually can't. If you blink up there, you just go to immediately down the cliff. Sometimes oh, you get stuck yeah, and stuff. Yeah, but that's, that's really also weird. something like, I don't know if that's something that actually fought through. I doubt it. It's the same thing like with the new ledges, you know, like Ruby can throw people up on the ledges. Around. They remove that from the game and then have something new. Well, they get a kill on Asian Apparition S4. Another million dollar dream coil. That ward's like the best ward, I think, in the game. Yeah. It's, it's, you get so much vision. If it were like one tier lower in terms of height, I think it'd be like balanced, but yeah, it's way too high. Yeah. And this Fury can pretty much solo approach almost. Not too far. It's gonna rotate. I guess they're gonna give it. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Light! Um, because it goes back to what I said before. I don't think the Trow should ever be in the position to get killed and even if he is. Oh. Nice blast flies into the Roche pit. Naga maybe can do it though. She's way too far away. Yeah, yeah. I guess the S4 will be able to orb. Jaunts out, he'll be okay. Roshan has fallen so Roche ends up going down. They do give the Aegis to the Dro, despite Lotus advice. And now Fenrir, he'll walk right into it. Uh-oh, that's the danger zone. The Ogre gets Dyer's taken down. Song of the Siren comes out. Black, considering his options, Wait, what happened to the Root Tree? Did someone kill it? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. It must have. It was an illusion. I thought Black was gonna see it and grab it. No. But, Killed. But and the Chikiro also got picked off off to the side as we were watching that little skirmish. So see. Secret get a lot out of that. Yeah. Roche and a couple of kills. Yeah, exactly. And that's that's what makes the draw. Radiant's so bottom so tower is under attack. Just how easily you take this Roche, you get a medallion, and Roche just falls. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird. She's like a mid game carry, not a late game carry. Yeah. Like, yeah. You want to end the game by like 35, I'd say. 35, yeah. 40 is your ideal time. Radiance the bottom I tower I really has like fallen. The eggs and draw as well is that like if she dies, they will just try to stand on top of her. Radiance <laughs> middle tower and is under attack. Don't do so much, but secret is Radiance structures game. are yeah, fortified. Oh, but 15 minutes, Radiance uh, has been purchased, and I think it's on its way to delivery. And uh, really solid timing. Black still number one on network. Here we go, set up in the mid lane. Super using the Yules, but S4 is there. Coil on two. They get the kill on the Chikiro. And Fenrir will not break the tether. Oh, he will! Oh, no, he gets stunned, and that's going to cost them. It's going to be a two for nil in the mid lane. Amateur. That's secret. Get rewarded with a tower. Uh, to boot. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. One of those small fallen. mistakes running out when, right when you think it's about to end. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right when you think it's about to end. For sure. I think that was a weird. Uh, move from Richie, honestly. Yeah, I, I I don't think they expected Secret to protect the draw like yeah. that. They're really good about protecting the draw. Yeah, they, they are. For sure. The old group. Yeah, exactly. Radiance okay. middle tower is under attack. Everyone's fine. Um, but what it meant, like, if Black would have been there, maybe they would have been able to take the fight. Have secret, I guess. But at the same time, it's very, very scary to Double damage. go in like that. Plus 219 damage. Yep. Ooh. 
That blueberry. So Kuro picks up the Yasha after the Masked Magic. And up top, Puppy hit by the Ice Blast. No, not gonna be close. So are Secret actually gonna push at some point before Nog gets too big, or are they gonna try and take it like super, like you know, 50 plus minutes? I, I think it's oh, a I difficult game plan either way. Yeah, but it also goes back to that. I'm still not really sure who I think has the better late game. It depends so much on farm. Yeah, if there's like ags on T. <laughs> Hey, hey, and ogres. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then, then it will be harder and harder to fight. And if this timber, yeah, will just get back into the game somehow. I don't um, think Secret wants to go super, super late, like 60 minutes plus. Yeah, but that's I, probably true. I think they could go to like 45 and still be, still be just fine. Maybe 50. Yeah, for sure. I think that they will just um, pull up some core items and then. Yeah. Slowly take towers, try to get some pickoffs with the Puck and Fury on them. Keep going for towers that yeah. way. Try He's to so push. good at doing ancients, at stacking ancients, they're always stacked. Yeah, yeah. they're very efficient yeah, with the They're battle. very, very, very good at that. It's, uh, I feel no fail does that a lot. Uh, and he's one of those players that this is awkward. Yeah, double smoke. We'll see who jumps who. Secret comes in. He rolls onto the throw. There's your macro pyre. Ice path. Kuro in a lot of trouble. May still be able to survive. Instead, they'll go on the Fenrir. That should secure the kill onto the throw. Aegis will be utilized. And will Fenrir TP out? He will. It's a one for one. Aegis for the Ancient Apparition. Simba will be able to live as well. Oh, it's actually better than I thought for Vichy. Um, I thought it would die. Two people there for sure. Um, but yeah, the Vegas was gonna expire very soon anyway, so I don't think Secret. Yeah, I think that's a big deal. So they can push the power. Ooh, the S and Y for Joe Ranger. Uh, it could be BGB. Yeah, it could be a BGB. Uh, BGB. I suppose, yeah. Game could be. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Quite. It's, a, it's a really good BKB game. All right, I take that back. <laughs> but Sunny actually is, is super legit for Joe as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. What do you think about SNY in general right now? Is it in a pretty good place? We, I think it's sort of been on the on the rise a little bit. Yeah. Oh, he might get caught out by the sentries. Ooh. They have two of them. They ping him out. S4. Oh no. But how do they kill that? Oh, there they go. They reveal it, and he will orb out. Team support is there. Silence on the super. There's a dream coil on two, but do Secret really want to force the issue under the tier two tower? They seem hesitant. Doing what damage they can, but won't commit for any kills. This is really dangerous. They could, like, if one or two people get picked up, it'll turn into three or four with the sleep, so. Yeah. This is really. And S4 went Dagon on the top. I think he's. Oh, we went Dagon? Yeah. yeah. I think that's. Uh, they want to be able to, like, keep picking apart ice ice ice. Just S4 jumps in, coil, silence. I mean, uh, orb, silence, Dagon. If you're an old, then he, he's probably gonna fall. Because of ET. Yeah, because of ET as well. It's, it's a very good synergy there. And ET as usual has quite a good game himself. Not gonna. Yeah, he soon has his eels, Soul Ring Tranquils. Um, and then he's probably gonna go for this four stuff. Yeah, it looks like he's going for both Sunny Asha and BKB actually. Okay. So we're yeah, there both you go. Right. <laughs> Everybody Dyer's wins. middle yeah, tower sure. is under attack. So yeah, about S and Y. I mean, what what's like the ideal situation to get Sans and Yasha? So I know a lot of people have different opinions about. I the think it's really good on Life Stealer. Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> I mean, uh, I kind of feel you should get S and Y when you play kind of here that uh, you build a movement speed build, as you pointed out. Like Life Stealer really needs that movement speed just to be able to run around and. S slow. Uh, I think it's best it's on melee. Very second guess, but I don't know. I, I don't think. I think that the item might need a small buff, but I'm not sure. It's more like I think Yasha is very Dyer's good. top tower is top. under attack. Mm -hmm. Sage's recipe is just like crap compared to Yasha recipe. I yeah. feel like Mame needs a bigger graphic. Didn't we talk about this once? I had a bigger graphic. More people might use it. Probably. Yeah, yeah, you barely notice it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's Just true. A little bit of red sprinkled in there. You always notice the moves. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Okay. 
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah, he benefits a lot from that. Yeah. I think it's better for like the more drawn out fights too. You can yeah. Stay at the edge and do whatever you want. Yeah. Or like life zero. Like, like, two ranges most of the time. I, I like the way the Sanj equipment Dyer's worked in Han, where it was a sure thing and it stacked up for each attack rather yeah. than being RNG. Radiant's yeah, bottom it, it tower more. is under attack. It's definitely a slightly stronger rival. Dyer's top tower. Has well, fallen. up top, Shakira will finish off that tier one tower. And down bottom, Ice 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 gets Dagon into the Earth Splitter. Wow. Loda hit the nail on the head with that one. That's Zor's just picking on the timber Radiant's saw. Yeah. Bottom tower has fallen. Still hey. blaming. Early to go high ground, maybe? Get some damage on T3? Yeah, Without the timber. Uh, I think it's the right choice. It's a bit easier. Yeah, I think that's... They need ages, I think. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah. I don't know. Black's... I mean, the thing is like this. If Secret... I think that Secret is doing the right thing by playing a bit uh, safe here. Because if Vichy is able to get a good counter fight at this point, they will get a lot of gold. Yeah. Uh, a lot of EXP, and they will be wow. able to get back into the game, but yeah. 12,000 net worth. Yeah. But it's actually not so unusual when you see these 12 lineups, um, that you get the gold advantage quite a lot. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Missed the kill there on fucking wood lane, so Jakiro set it up with the Yule's Ice Path, and you now S4 gets punished for going that glass cannon build. Yeah, that was, that was a big kill, for sure. Every time, fuck this down, it's... Secret that's really, uh, yeah. a bit more passive, I feel. So how's Black doing on his item progression? He's still doing well in terms of net worth, just about a thousand behind that with Dro. Mm hmm? I thought he might die here, but... Oh. Nope. Yeah, just BOTs, 1400 gold. Looking for his Yasher. Shroud takes is one bad push and they throw away the 12,000. Yeah. Because okay. they... Every fight Vici wins, they buy like, you know, three, four, it's five minutes. see that Vici only took one tower. Yeah. Uh, with his Yakiro. And that's because uh, Secret just has a good strat with this. They have draw aura, they have a lot of heroes that can uh, push out lanes, and they are fearing on top of that, so... It's just hard for Vici to even get to the towers, pretty yeah. much. Well, despite getting picked on, Ice 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 gets his Blink Dagger now, and uh, Dagon's leveled up. What level? Is that level 2 Dagon now? It gets 2. And, yeah. Yeah. and then there's your, your mech on the Ancient Ember. Oh, oh, down bottom, S4 again, set up in the Yule, Shikiro making these plays happen! From and the puck. That is, once again, that's a huge, huge kill. This is right before Roche. And Black gets it. Is Roche up? Yeah, it okay. just respawned. Uh, I think it's hard for Vichy to kill Roche, though. Yeah. So... I think Secret needs as many Roches as they can get, yeah. though. Yeah, Well, that's, that's... I mean, I've played a lot of Roche threats, and that's what I mean, like, you need to keep... You need to keep the lead. That's yeah. pretty much how it is. If it gets even, <laughs> you lose. You <laughs> lose. Yeah, it's pretty much like that. Um, Radiant's top hero. tower is under attack. She's very strange. She is strange. But what I want to see is that uh, he doesn't have a thing. Okay. No, I don't want to see it though. <laughs> I was gonna say that I would like to see like Crow maybe picking up a blink and actually uh, sometimes uh, initiating himself on, on a. Some heroes like initiate with a draw with a blink silence. He would push them away from you so you get the range you need, just BKB, and you can take easy pickoffs that way. Yeah. That's pretty much the only aggressive moves you can do with this one. Smoke him in the road pit, and there you go, the medallion with Jeremy. Look how fast he goes. Or the AAO, but he can't do it, but he's not too long ago. But he's got it available. It just doesn't matter. Too little, too late. Get it out, but Roche goes die. down. Jero gets the Aegis once more, and now they'll start to get aggressive here. S4, Orm up to the high ground. Earth Splitter will be off the mark. And they won't find any kills off this, but still a successful Roche for the Dire. That would have been so big if they had gotten high right there. Yeah. Oh my god. I gotta keep this right. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Silence on the black. Of course, he's got ultimate ready, but Dro doing a lot of damage here. Simba blinks forward and TP's in. Naga Siren goes down and Secret coming out hot. And they're going to be Radiant's middle tower is under attack. He's just a, he's a mobile well at this point, bro. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Well, here we go, the other fight breaking out. S4 goes in with a coil. Ice 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 taking a lot of damage, will survive. TP out from the Ogre. Does, uh, does, does Black have buyback? Uh, he, he does, that's the Golden Banner, Merlini. Three tower is in trouble. Black buys back. I don't know what he was waiting for. Okay, they will make the defense. BKB used by Kuro, they want super. 
Fort forward, S4 finds it. And they may go for more. Silence on to Ice Ice Ice. Song of the Siren. Black isolates Kuro. His BKB will expire. He'll be all right. And now the Ice Blast comes in. They'll find the kill on to Kuroki, but he's got the Aegis. He's coming right back up. Where does Seeker go from here? They've still got five alive. They've got a lot of So many cooldowns. And here's their glyph, S4 getting aggressive, the zoning dag on Fenrir dropped low. Caught inside of the Echo Stomp, but Secret happy to zone him out Radiance to secure the barracks. barracks. Melee go down, fallen. range will stay standing for now, but not for long. Those little dino treants chomping into him, and Secret secure the first lane of barracks. Secret is playing really, really well. Uh, so crisp. So, yeah, yeah exactly. really, really crisp. They, they did really well. Mike Loder. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> uh, but as you mentioned, Malini, they had to invest two AA bolts yeah. and a sleep to That's get this insane. Aegis. If they would have got been able to get the which they almost did, if they would have been able to kill the draw Aegis uh, when they were pushing the tier two mm. in mid on that first AA blast, which was quite close. Regeneration. They able to do the same thing, but they played it really well, they had this heals and Makes it very, very hard for Vichy to yeah. take this. If Papi had gotten earth charges from that kill, it might have been a lot different too. Mm. They yeah. might have been able to go for more. They yeah. might, it wouldn't even um, gotten killed the ages with three ults. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, on paper, Ancient Apparition is really good against Dazzle to stop the healing, but he just can't keep the ultimate up long enough for it to matter. There's and this huge also window. It's hard when they push because he can only stand so far. <laughs> That's true. Puck almost caught the danger zone, but will be okay. Now they'll try to turn it around. Super, he gets Dagon down, and Kuro will get credit for that one. It's just so crazy. ET, Spirit, plus Dagon is just... It's a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Apparently we have some NVIDIA GeForce drivers ready for download. So watch out, boys. Yeah. That was the only thing I was looking at. <laughs> well, they also have no burst for an AA, right? Like, AA all hits and then what? Nothing happens. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. They, well, they need Timber. They need Timber to be farmed. If he had, like, Blink, it's like, boom, he does shock. Yeah, but, but exactly. And that's what I was talking about before. Like, it's a really good game, this game. Yeah. Uh, and maybe, just as I said, maybe they should just have put him on safe lane. And jewel lane. Try. They could even, yeah, they could have aggro tried. Mm -hmm. They could even have done uh, Timber. Ogre or Timber AA, and then they do this Jakiro Ogre offlane. Um, at the same time, maybe this Jakiro Ogre is not so good against Prowl Trilands. Um, yeah, I think with the AA there, the Chilling Touch, it helped. I mean, at least you still have the damage to kill the draw if she ends up squaring up against you or you can catch her with a stun. Yeah, but if they aggro try, Nature Prophet can TP in too. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so it would be difficult. Uh, so, so what I mean more is that. They really, if you play against Bell, you really need one guy that can early on. Like, if you had a centaur with an early blink, it's yeah. very hard to go for these towers because he will just ult, blink in, whatever, uh, ruin the fight for Drow. Just looking at his uh, skill set, he seems like, to me, just the perfect hero to counter Drow. Like, everything he does, just hops in, closes the gap, bursts yeah, her down, she's squishy. Yeah. So, he's one of the best heroes, I think, as well. Uh, something that also works very well against both. Draw and uh, ET is if you bring it very late game and you just prepare for this late game and you go uh, uh, last cross and uh, <laughs> suddenly these rats does that. Super! Earth Splitter won't connect thanks to the Yules but will not survive. Oh man. So we saw in Cloud 9 versus uh, uh, Tinker at uh, Starlighter. Yeah, yeah, they, they did that. They did that. Exactly. Tinker did that. They, they just waited for. Those items we we did Dyer's middle tower as well. is under attack. Um, where we just played a late game game against the draw with <laughs> and waiting and whatever and just get these small items. Radiance um, top tower is under attack. And it's also very good against ET in, in this kind of game. Because, because Radiance extra. top tower has fallen. All right, I've got a fun little stat here from uh, Mr. Nahaz. He said S and Y has been picked over 15 percent of the time in 6.82 pro matches, up from 11 percent in 6.81 B. So there has been an increase in S and Y. Dyer's bottom tower is under well, attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiance top tower has fallen. The control of this game, I feel. Black's just Dyer's not big enough. Bottom uh, he's got good farm, fallen. but he's the only one. It's it's him versus the world right now. The rest of his team is just so broke. Yeah. There's a bloodstone on ice though. I'm a little surprised that he was able to farm that up. <laughs> Two armor. 
think he's like a Shiva's at this point, plus flip. Yeah. It Dro just chops him down. But it's also, uh, as I was talking about before, this fuck, like, sure, they've been able to kill him a few times. Uh, and I've been surprised that they actually were able to kill him so many times, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah. He does so much with the ET aura as well. Look at Puppy's inventory. Holy crap, look at this Dazzle. He's tricked out. He's wow. got a full pipe. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a rich Dazzle. He's man. got 10k net worth. Pipe's so good, we're still up to it. Yeah. Is he 0 0 3? He doesn't even have any yeah. kills. Yeah. Wow. I'm He's found a That's lot what of stuff. That's what happens when they're always scared of the puck, though. You don't even want to go into support like Dazzle. Yeah, but they. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they don't have so much heroes that can split push really. Yeah. Uh, uh, even Naga has to be afraid. A lot of the time, I feel. Unless you're an iron puck. Well. What's going on down bottom? Looks like a little picnic in the tree line here. Flying Super just hanging out. Yeah, they're used to scouting around the tree line though with over Titan. Whenever they think he was something to remote. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the coil on black! Yeah, he's got plenty of damage and down he goes. But he uses a song as well! He waited so long with the map. Oh. I didn't see if it was seeding or not, but. Wow, Ice 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 just barely lives. That was probably a little more hype than I gave it credit for. <laughs> Secret's so patient though, they like. Get in T3 and then they just back off. Wait for an opportunity to get a pick eventually because Michi have to come out of one sometime. Yeah. And then, yeah. boom, they swing in, force out a buyback, and maybe they'll go back, and then they'll reevaluate as soon as that happens. Sure. Oh, 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 Radiant oh, structures oh, are fortified. Look how fast that Shakiro died. There's just Radiant's something Michi can do at this point. I think we're close to a GG here. Yeah. So level five Dagon out now. I think on the puck. Yeah, there it is, GG from MY, and honestly not a moment too soon. They from secret that they... Well drafted. I mean, no one saw that. I think it was very well drafted, but also they, they executed well. And I think that, yeah, the draw last pick was very, what? very, very, very good in this situation. Um, and Vichy were not ready for it. Not at all. Yeah, so obviously a very good draft from Secret. Do you think there was an execution issue? Could Vichy have won that, or were they just totally outdrafted? No, but uh, as I said, I think that they could have won that for sure. Um, but it, it comes down to those lanes and uh, the importance of uh, Timber in this game. 